friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW Grocery Haul. Today I am getting my groceries from both Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and Walmart Grocery Pickup. So if you wanna see what I have in store this week for groceries, I'm also gonna walk you through my meal plan and what's on my agenda for meal prep, then just stay tuned. So here is my grocery haul from Walmart. I just picked up a few things by pickup and the majority of my groceries you'll see next from Fred Meyer or Kroger. So from Walmart, I picked up the Pillsbury sugar-free yellow cake mix. This is for my upcoming breakfast recipe. I can't wait to share this with you guys. Also, as always, I just grabbed another can of the Hershey's whipped topping. I love this. It is so good. It is only one smart point. It's delicious on yogurt, pudding, desserts, amazing. So I picked that up. A big tub of I can't believe it's not butter light. This is definitely a better value than the smaller tub. And I can only find this at Walmart. So I added that. Two cases of Coca Zero, one vanilla, one cherry. This is just for me to restock my supply. Two bags of riced cauliflower. This is for an upcoming recipe. I needed quite a bit of rice cauliflower and this organic great value is really good and really reasonably priced compared to the bird's eye. So if you can find this at your Walmart, highly recommended. I also picked up some fat-free mozzarella and fat-free cheddar. Again, Fred Meyer does not carry fat-free cheese so I always grab it at Walmart. Parmesan cheese, this is just the Frigo shredded Parmesan cheese. Really good price at Walmart, so I picked that up. And lastly, two cans of the Great Value Organic 100% Pure Pumpkin. I wanted to have this on hand because I have quite a few pumpkin fall recipes coming up. So that is everything I grabbed from Walmart Grocery Pickup. And here is my groceries from Fred Meyer, minus a case of water. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. So I grabbed some more mustard. I was just about out, and this is on sale right now for 99 cents, which is a great deal. Also, I grabbed one of the Fred Meyer brand of the Greek yogurt and strawberry. This was a free Friday download, so I actually got this yogurt for free. So these are two points just like the Dan Enlightened Fit, and they're actually really good. They're just the Kroger or Fred Meyer brand. I also picked up some natural sour cream for my husband. I'm making him tacos for lunches this week, and this was on a great deal, $1.25. Of course, a dozen happy eggs. Love my happy eggs. These were on sale and I also had a coupon, so it was a double bonus. Best eggs if you can find these in your local stores, in my opinion. They have the orangest yolk, the best flavor, delicious. Also string cheese, mainly for my husband's lunch, but we like to have this on hand as well. And this is just the low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese, the 24 pack. Mini chocolate chips. I've been on a kick with these. This is for an upcoming recipe, so I like to have these on hand. You can have quite a few for the smart points, so kind of is a nice sweet treat and satisfies that chocolate craving. My normal private selection center cut bacon. They changed the packaging. I almost panicked because I couldn't find it in the store, and I need this for an upcoming recipe. Two slices, one smart point. Love this bacon. For canned goods, I picked up a can of Campbell's Cream of Chicken. This is the Healthy Request. So it's lower points than the fat-free and has a little bit better flavor, I think. So Cream of Chicken for a dinner recipe. And then I also picked up Cream of Mushroom for a dinner recipe. And for canned goods, lastly, a can of Mild Rotel for a recipe. French fried onions, I need this for a dinner recipe that I have coming this next week. Of course, fat-free Ready Whip. There isn't a week that goes by that I don't pick this up. So my fat-free Ready Whip. These were on sale for 99 cents. So I thought these would be a good snack for me to take with me when I'm out showing houses. This is the Parmesan Roasted Garlic Harvest Snap Peas. Never had these before, but again, they were 99 cents and I thought that they would be a really good snack. Bacon pieces for a recipe. I really like this. It's real bacon. It's already pre-cut up. Perfect, easy for recipes. So Kroger, real bacon pieces. They also had their Mio on sale for 99 cents, which is such a great deal. So I picked these up just to have on hand for when I'm traveling. This one is the Mio Strawberry Watermelon and the Mio Sport in the Arctic Grape. And by the way, you can buy five of these on the 99 cent deal. So I picked up four. 
And I also grabbed the Mio Sport Lemon Lime. And lastly, I really like this one. This is the Mio Energy Tropical Fusion. So four things a Mio, that will definitely last me a while. A bag of frozen peas. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. I also grabbed another package of flour. I was completely out of just regular flour. And with fall baking coming up, I have lots of recipes down on my menu plan. So flour was definitely needed. Olay wraps. I've actually never tried this flavor. This is the tomato and basil. I'm really excited to give this a try. One smart point, just like the high fiber. And I thought this would be really good on breakfast, or I'm sorry, lunch wraps with some meat and some cheese. It just sounds really good. So really excited to try those. I also grabbed two big boxes of chicken stock. I need quite a bit for some upcoming recipes this next week. And these were a great deal, two for $3. So that's great for organic chicken stock. And the rest of what I have is produce. So we'll start back here with our grapes, green grapes and red grapes. These were 99 cents a pound. So I picked up quite a bit of grapes for the week. My second fruit is going to be blueberries, $2.99. So good deal for blueberries. So I'll have blueberries and grapes as fruits this week. I needed a lot of mushrooms, so I found the organic on clearance for $1.39. Whole mushrooms, so I picked up two packages of those. A couple of yellow onions, some stalks of celery for a recipe, green onions. This is a huge bunch of green onions. Look at that, crazy. So I picked up a bunch of green onions, a five pound bag of red potatoes as I have potatoes upcoming in a couple of recipes. And lastly, a big bunch of fresh parsley. So that's everything that I picked up at Fred Meyer. So let's get into this week's meal plan and what's on the plan for meal prep. So now let's get into this week's meal plan. This is my Carriel meal planner. You know, I love this meal planner. I have the eight by 11 one. It is absolutely beautiful. There is tons of tabs for you. The resource tab is where you can log your favorite recipes, plan your meals, your blogs, anything that you wanna just take note of, you can use the resource tab for that. There's also the inventory tab where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and also your spices. So it makes it really easy to know what you have on hand when you're planning your grocery list so you're not buying extra items. We'll come back here to the meal plans tab. There's the gatherings, and that is where you can plan an event. So whether you have a party, a birthday, any type of event, you can plan out all of your meals. And then there is also a detachable grocery list for you to remove and take with you to the grocery store. So this is great if you host a lot of gatherings or you have a lot on your plate as far as events go, this tab is perfect for that. And lastly, in the back here is the notes tab, and that's where you can take notes of anything. I will usually jot down recipes that I didn't print off or screenshot so that I can have them easily accessible when I am cooking. And then one last thing before we go to the meal plans, there is a cute little double-sided folder in the back of the meal planner as well where you can put things that you want to have on hand. So let's revisit the meal plans tab. So each month there is a monthly meal plan. Let me pull up the current month here. So August, so you can plan out all of your meals for the entire month. I do like to do this because at a glance, I know what is on my meal plan for that night. I can make sure that I'm pulling out my meat out of the freezer and that I have all of my ingredients on hand so that I know whether or not I need to make a quick run to the store. So I love this, it's at a glance, it's easy to plan. And then also there is a weekly menu for each week where you can write out what is on your meal plan for dinner, you could do all three meals, breakfast, lunch, whatever you prefer. And then there is also a detachable grocery list. I do use this every week to take with me to the grocery store. So let's go to this week's meal plan. So my week runs Saturday through Friday. So it starts on Saturday, August 31st. I'll be going out for dinner as I'm showing houses and things today. So I'll be grabbing some dinner while I'm out and about. Tomorrow I am planning on making ground beef dinner with vegetables. So on Monday I'm gonna be having mushroom meatballs with pasta and vegetables. This is going to be part of my vegetarian series. It sounds super good. Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing a chicken enchilada skillet and vegetables. This is a low carb recipe, so you'll see that coming out here shortly. Wednesday, in the Instant Pot, we are going to do comfort food. We are gonna have mac and cheese with chicken and vegetables. And Thursday, I'm gonna be making some baked 
potato soup in my Instant Pot. Now that it's not so hot out, I'm feeling some comfort food. And then Friday, we will do leftovers. So for meal prep this week, what I am planning on doing for breakfast, I'll be making cake batter pancakes with turkey bacon and eggs. You will see this on Monday's meal prep video. I can't wait for this breakfast. Lunch, I'm making carbonara pasta with chicken. Again, really excited about this recipe. And then for a snack this week, I'm gonna be making homemade chewy granola bars with all whole delicious ingredients and great smart points compared to store-bought granola bars. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. So that is my meal plan for the week. This is my Cariel meal planner. If you are interested in picking up a meal planner, my code is here on the screen. It will give you 10% off. Click the link down in the description box. Check out our website. She has some great products. Definitely helps you stay on track and plan a lot easier. Thank you for joining me on another WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up throughout the week, my meal plan, and of course, what you'll be seeing in Meal Prep Monday. If you're new to my channel, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one, comment down below, let me know what recipe or recipes you are most excited for. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!